Uh, we're here at the Finals of Steam Tank uh, final Challenge. Uh, I have three teachers uh, from three different grade levels. I want to talk to them about the benefits of the Steam Tank Challenge from their perspective. And uh, why don't you introduce yourselves and your school. Hi, I'm Evelyn Carney. I'm from Aldridge School in Howell, New Jersey, and we have grades three through five. Hi, I'm Robin Arabia. I'm from Pittman Middle School in Pittman, New Jersey, and I do grades six through eight. Hi, Amy Edwards from Manasquan High School. So we do grades 9 to 12 in Manasquan, New Jersey. Why don't you start, what are the benefits you see at the high school level? Uh, I, I'm sure it applies to all levels, but for the students to enter something like this, even maybe not even the students that make it to the finals. Absolutely. It's an incredible process. The students self-identify a problem that they see and it's individualized and personalized to them and then they just take it and run with it and they just discover all sorts of really creative solutions to their problems. They're working in groups of two to five so they all take on different roles and then they pull in the technical mentors they need to really expand their projects and their worlds. I found that the kids have great ideas and all we needed to do was give them a space to create their ideas and just to listen to them and then they came up with all of this on their own. So it was really awesome experience to do it in the classroom. I love the program for the kids because it legit let them go through the entire engineering process from start to finish with their idea and then going through it and asking questions and failing at things and right. then fixing it. Um, and I think that that was the biggest benefit and also the public speaking that comes with having to present in front of people for them was a really big challenge for them but a great experience as well. Yeah, I was going to ask about that. I mean, it's not just the science and the research, there's the presentation skills and that's something you don't do all the time and you're doing it in front of a totally different audience than you do at school. Is that right. something that you yeah. sell? It's been amazing um, to see my students come out of their shells. Like I, the girls that came today, we had a very quiet, shy girl, and she learned how to speak up and to speak up for herself. And she was able to answer all the questions that the judges had asked her, and they were grilling her. And she did a great job. And to see her come out of her shell to do that was an amazing part of the process. And I think it gave them all confidence of what they're capable of doing. And I don't think they realize that. Right. Yeah. No. Just to tag onto that. Um, and it's a wide variety of students. It's not always just your gifted and talented students. Sometimes these students have amazing ideas and they, they don't learn the same way as everybody else. So they've been maybe marginalized. So now they get a voice and it's their idea, their problem that they want to solve and they're the leaders and they just emerge and they come out of their shells and it's just exciting to see. I, get, I'm get, I got goosebumps <laughs> just thinking about some of these students that they just become so proud of themselves and yeah. they succeed, but they fail a lot first. It's absolutely Yeah, I did see that in a lot a of them. They went deal. through steps and they said, well, we couldn't do that, couldn't mm -hmm. do that, but they figured a way around it. Right, and that's you know modeling for them that perseverance and you don't give up when you fail. We just figure out what's wrong and we fail, fail fast to succeed sooner is what I tell my students because and you have to. With real life problems, you don't just give up, you figure out a way to make it work. So uh, I was also, when I asked all the students, they put a lot of hours into this. This is, I mean, motivation sometimes is difficult for teachers. Right. I don't think there was any problem with that here. I mean, these, at least from what I can see, is these kids put in, they, over the summer, they, they were working on this. Absolutely. And because it's that personalized problem, they mm -hmm. came up with it. So there's a real world, hey, this is important to me. I really want to solve this. And they do it. But the, yeah, it's a lot of hours. I don't know that we could even calculate it. It's a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah. And you know, I had mom, one mom telling me how the boys were you know, sleeping over her house and up to high school, two in the morning, like working on this project over the summer. And I didn't ask them to do that. They just did it on their own because they really wanted to figure it out before we came to the finals. Okay. We've been um, meeting during lunch for these last two months to get ready for finals. And it was never an issue for them to miss lunch because they wanted to do it. And I enjoyed missing my lunch to work with them because they were just like the best group working on their ideas and working on their problems and brainstorming and it was just like so much fun and I never had to force them and like pull their teeth because they loved it, they owned it. Mm -hmm. and they're proud of it. We also met during lunch uh, for the past couple of months and they're just, they were just so motivated to do it, which was really nice to see. Uh, would you recommend, uh, well, let me ask one thing. It's nice to be in the finals. And I know that I saw you last year, so you're, you're, you're very happy and, you're, <laughs> yes. and proud. 
but does it help the students who maybe not even if they don't make it that far just that whole exercise of going through this the students who are not here but other students <laughs> so I have a few few years of this experience um, even the semi-final level that's an accomplishment and sometimes the judges don't know what what the barriers are for these students at home or in their personal life or in their educational life you know students with different learning styles and abilities and the IEPs and 504s the judges don't know don't care which is great because they are not being judged based on like a stigma if you will um, but the semifinal level, some of these students have never presented in front of anybody and say, listen, here's, you did this, you accomplished this. That is, you know, you made the semifinals in your state. That's a big deal. So it's really powerful. And then uh, on the, uh, uh, there, on the way there down. There are hundreds of applications. Oh, so oh it, yeah. So it's not like it's like yeah, 30 I, people going down the right. nine. This is. Yeah, and I'll tell them that. I'll say, listen, there was over 560 applications this year, and you guys were some of that select crew that got selected for the semifinals. But even on the way down to the finals this year, I had at least three different cycles of students coming up. <gasps> Mrs. Edwards, so I have an idea for next year. So what if we did this? What if well, I had this problem I want to solve? And they're already thinking about next, the next one. So I have now, this is my third year here, um, I have students who did it all three years with me and are just, they say it was so valuable, it was hard, it was scary, and we failed, but then we succeeded and we got really great feedback. And, you know, whether I go on to do anything else in the engineering world is okay, you don't have to, but I have this skill under my belt, I can do this. We have one group that made it to the county level last year and then they didn't make it into finals. So this year for the 2020 competition, they're gonna rework their idea because they still love it. And they've been working on it all summer and they've been brainstorming. They're like, what went wrong? And they're reworking it. So it never ended. It's like still a circle that's like continuing. And that's what we told the other groups. We're like, do you wanna rework your problem again or do you wanna move on to another? And that was like a valuable tool for them. And then they just picked right back up at that. And that's where we were starting it. Yep. And also just being part of this whole process is just so memorable for them and it's literally a life experience for them. Yeah. So they'll remember it forever. And your students in Howell, I know they do it in every school so it can go from K uh, right. to all the way 12. Up to, yep. So cause we have entries in the finals from all three. Uh, so uh, One last question. Would you recommend to other teachers to do something, to enter something like this? I think it's an invaluable experience for the teachers and the students, everybody involved. Yeah. I feel that you just have to give the students the space and then they're, they'll do it. You just have to give them the space, give them the challenge, and they'll do it. And it doesn't take that much out of your day to, to do that. Right. And you don't have to have a certain special skill set. You're facilitating these students. So they need your enthusiasm and your support and your encouragement and your ability to ask them questions. But there's not one site type of teacher that can do this. All, we're all different backgrounds of teachers. It's just that willingness to support these students as they dive into a subject really deeply. I mean, they look at it from all different, you know, content areas and they really get a, they reference it later and, you know, yeah. it's a, it's incredible what they do with these projects. Yeah, well, th I, I have to say, I'm always, it's my second year coming to the finals. I'm always blown away by their ideas. Uh, I'm like, wow. You know, especially sometimes out, you're like, you're in fifth grade? Well, because they're kids. They still have that creative brain that they're not going to fail, that they can do anything, that they can be anything when they grow up. They still have that idea. And, this so, and then them. this gives them a platform to yeah. make their creative little dreams come true. Yeah, right? yeah okay. Big dreams. Big, right? big dreams. Yeah. Except at the high school, they've lost a lot of that because they, you know, they're, they're, in a different kind of culture in the high school where they're not allowed to be as creative. You know, it's not valued as much, unfortunately. So it gives them a place to be creative. And um, they just, all different types of kids just do such a great job with this with this program. It's, you know, my, my program grew tremendously in three years. I went from 32 kids the first year, I'm up to 121 this year. Wow. But I went from three girls to 78 girls. So I was I able to build that. I did notice the change this year that there were more female Absolutely. students. I, I did I, notice that. Well, in my, my research, myself, I realized that most women, if they're going to go into engineering, do biomedical or environmental engineering. So I looked at my school and I said, well, where are those students in our school? Well, they're all in our Academy of Health Careers classes. So I partnered with our Academy of Health Careers court director 
to pull her students into this. And they like it because it's a different way of thinking that they don't, aren't used to thinking about, you know, or thinking about a problem that way. So it becomes just an invaluable different tool set. And presentation-wise, tremendously valuable when they go out into the workforce. They are yep. getting accolades and scholarships at the high school level. They're getting scholarships and job internships based on their participation in Steam Tank. Wow. So it's, I have to say, great. I'm going to end on this, they all really appreciate the teachers that let them do this though. I, I, I noticed that, that there, there's a relationship between the students and the teacher on this whole project. It's not just, they deserve a lot of credit, but so do the three of you. So, and, and the other teachers that were involved. So uh, some of the teachers of the Steam Tank Challenge.